Hi, it's Josie and today I'd like to talk to you a little bit about desensitizing your horse. Somebody in my Basic Horse Training Academy um, told me that they have a horse that is um, scared of the whip and I do use a whip as a tool and it's a very valuable tool for me. So I thought that I might um, show you in here how I desensitize a horse to a whip. And I thought I can't really show you what a horse might do if they're not used to a whip because all of my horses are desensitized to the whip and um, so that they're just going to stand there while I put the whip on them. So I've brought Grayson in. He is 14 months old. He has not seen a whip before and has not had one over him. He has had, uh, he's been brought in and out to have his feet done since he was born. Um, and he's been to the vet once when he nearly lost his eye, bless him. But other than that, he has not had a lot of handling. He's in at the moment having his yearling work and I'm filming all of that for the academy and showing um, my members how I work on a completely green, untrained horse. So I thought he may be a good one to show you because we may get a reaction that you might get um, to the whip. So I, all I've done with this boy is taught him to lead. Like he used to come in and out to get his feet done, but that wasn't leading, that was just following me. And so I've started, I've started teaching him to lead anyway. If you wanna know how I teach a horse to lead, I'll link that video up here for you. Um, and Grayson's on day four of that today, I think. But I'm going to show you how I um, teach a young horse to, or any horse to become desensitized to a whip. Now when you do this, it's not flooding, the old term, I'm not going to go into that here, but that's basically where you, the horse has no say in what's happening to it and they just become inundated with what you're doing and then they shut down. I watch my horses when I do this and I try to pick up their smallest cue that tells me they're a little bit nervous about what I'm doing and then I try and deal with that from there. You can see that he is a typical young horse and a colt particularly, he's very chewy on the um, rope and it doesn't bother me that he chews the rope as long as he doesn't chew me um, and you will also see that he doesn't have um, a lot of understanding of what he needs to do so he, he may move around I've done a tiny bit of groundwork with him but not a lot so the aim of desensitizing a horse is to take notice when the horse tells you it's about it's worried about what you're doing and then to stop there to not escalate that pressure anymore you should stop the pressure when the horse gives you the slightest indication of um, he's worried and then when he relaxes you should take that pressure away so you're rewarding the fact that he's relaxing and then you build on that so we're going to do that today I'm not quite sure how this is going to pan out, so we're just going to see. So I have a whip here and I promise you he's not, he's been patted all over by me, but he's not been patted all over by a whip. So there are three things that a horse will normally react to uh, and have a fright from, and they are noise, touch and movement. And um, when you're bringing something towards your horse to desensitize it, you're approaching and they can also be quite upset by approach because that's got movement. And if there's noise involved with that movement, well, then you're, you're doubling the pressure. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to try to, I'll just turn him around here um, and I'll try to bring the whip up and touch him and whatever reaction he gives me, he gives me and we will deal with. So I'm standing far enough away from him and in the leading lesson I've given him, he's learnt that he needs to stay out of my space. So if he has a little spook, he's gonna go that way um, and not over the top of me. So I'll just get my whip out here. Now I'm going to watch him. He may not do anything, I can't promise you. Okay, so he lifted his head up there so I stopped the approach of the whip and then when he put his head down, I took it away. So we'll do this again. I'm bringing it here, I'm watching him. His eye stopped and he was starey there. He wasn't blinking, so I stopped and when he blinked again, I brought it back. And if he comes towards it, I will take it away. So I'm using pressure and release here and I'm also allowing him to tell me how much pressure he wants. When he comes towards it, I take it away. I'm, I'm rewarding his curiosity as well. And if he went to follow it, I would just move it. 
he's telling me that I can come in. Everything looks pretty relaxed there. I look for his facial features. We learn all about this in Basic Horse Training Academy on what bits to look for. He's stopped blinking, he's a bit starey. He's blinked again, so I took it away. And this takes as long as it takes, guys. And he dropped his head slightly. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. So he touched it then, he touched it. I didn't touch him with it, he touched it. Good boy. So approaching, he's touching, I take it away. Now, because we've done this a few times and he's a little bit better with it, I'm just gonna start rubbing on his face. I need to be on the same side of, the, of his body as I'm doing this. Whoops, sorry mate, that was fairly poor on your mother's behalf. I'm just gonna use it on his body, rub him. You can see he's got, a, he's got a little bit of tension there. If you know the signs, you can see them. I'm just waiting, he's actually enjoying that. Just waiting a bit. I don't, yeah, he's a colt, I don't want him chewing on it. I'm gonna take it away there because he just showed a very small sign of relaxation, good boy. I'm gonna come back in here, start here, move down his body, and just keep myself on the same side as my tool, rub him, rub him all over. Now if he was to move now, I would keep this wherever I had it on him, here we go, and wait until he stops all feet and take it away. Because the aim of this is to have him stand nice and still whilst I can get my whip all over him. All right, so coming back up here. Just rubbing him all over with it. Coming down here, he's obviously not too worried, which I didn't think he would be because I have rubbed him all over from the day he was born. I want him to stand still, so I'm now gonna take it away when all feet, four feet stop because he did go to move. Um, just a quick tip, use a nice stiff whip. You don't want a whippy dressage whip because you could accidentally um, tickle him with it and we don't it, it's not the aim of tickling him now the horses are going to be very good on the big meaty parts of their body when you move down to the thinner bits they might if he was to sort of lift his foot up here he's um, I would try to keep the whip on his foot and when he put it down I would take it away so you always have to keep in mind what your end game is and my end game is to be able to put this all over him with him standing nice and still and that includes all over him so a very good um, place to actually handle sheaths and udders and ticklish bits here this bit's ticklish on a horse you should be able to get in and um, rub around there yet he's just being very very good and up here I can get in and tickle his sheath or not tickle it that's not what I want to do I'm um, touch it sorry and he, he wouldn't bother anyway because I have handled him as a young foal all over. What you do one side of your horse, you must do the other side. And just because he was good on that side does not mean he's good on this side. And you should start from the very beginning again. So I'm bringing this up. Good boy. He looks at it. I take it away. I'm going to bring this in. He looks at it, I take it away. I'm gonna bring this in, he looks at it, I take it away. I'm gonna bring this in. Good boy, he touches it, I take it away. Bring this in. He touches it, I take it away, good boy. Come in. Start down this side of his body. Good boy. So if he showed me a sign of tension, I would stop. Well, I wouldn't increase the pressure anymore. I would wait, he's enjoying that, until he, good boy, relaxed, and then I would take it away. 
I would come up here, good boy. Rub him all over, good boy. Be able to touch everything. He's obviously very relaxed there, guys. We can see that. Um, and I should be able to touch him. I should certainly be able to touch in the flank there. That's a little ticklish area of them where you can actually quite often get cow kicked. So that's how I desensitize my horse to the whip um, or anything actually. It's how I work through desensitization, not flooding, letting the horse tell me when he's had enough and when uh, uh, or when he's a little bit anxious and when I need to back off and when I need to move forward. So I hope that helps you. And if you're interested in finding out what we do in Basic Horse Training Academy, don't forget, look in the description of the video. There's a link there where I'll actually take you through and show you what we do. Thanks for watching.